Hey guys, West Coast Taco here and welcome to the channel. As you can clearly see, today is the day I'm going to be putting catalytic converter shields on my Tacoma. Honestly guys, shame on me for not doing this sooner. Honestly, it's one of those things for me that like it, it's easily just like out of sight, out of mind. But honestly, I've heard so many stories of people getting their catalytic converters jacked because they did not put some type of shield or protectant over them to keep them from being, you know, easily accessible to thieves and people looking to take advantage of people that have catalytic converters that are easily accessible on their cars. So interesting um, thing for some of you guys, if you're interested, the Tacoma is actually in the top 10 vehicles that are susceptible to getting their catalytic converter stolen. Prius is number one. There's a couple between that and long story short, the Tacoma is number four. So guys, if you do not have catalytic converter shields on your Tacoma, I highly, highly recommend it. You know, for this package, it cost me like 190 bucks. You know, if you had to replace catalytic converters, I mean, obviously you could do an insurance claim, but long story short, the cost of replacing catalytic converters and all the headache and heartache you'd have to go through to get that resolved compared to just buying some shields and preventing the issue from happening is, is much more, you know, much more beneficial in, in so many ways. So without further, without further delay, let's jump into this. Let's go into the process and go through the install. So I ordered these from Tacoma Beast. Yes, they are Cali Rays, as I've already mentioned, and you can clearly see. However, I went ahead and went with the Tacoma Beast version. Guys, you can't see these underneath the truck, you know, unless you crawl underneath and look at them. But I like the Tacoma Beast ones. They look kind of cool, different design. And it's just who I am. I'm a, I'm a particular guy with my stuff. And even if I can see it, just knowing something's a certain thing is important to me. So I'm not sure if any of you guys are the same way, but uh, that's how I am. So let's go ahead and slice this open and uh, see what this package comes with. All the hardware, perfect. Check out these bad boys. Awesome, there they are. All right guys, well at this point, let's get into the truck, let's get the install going and uh, see how things shake out. Also before we head down, just one thing I actually wanted to make mention of is uh, the markings, passenger, driver. So kind of cool that they actually engrave those in the metal for you. I think they're pretty self-explanatory, but it never hurts to have this. And uh, I'm sure it simplifies wondering which side goes where. All right, guys. So we are under the truck. This is going to be one of the most challenging videos I've ever shot just because I'm laying on my back and uh, not a ton of room down here. I mean, compared to other cars, there's a lot of room, but uh, to do a good video, it's going to be a little bit of a challenge. So bear with me here. So guys, these two bolts are going to be the first ones I take out. And they come across through here to there. So once I take these two out, I can pull this down. And then there's two bolts right here, this one and this one. And I'm gonna have to loosen them up just enough to get them out a little bit. Now you need to be very careful on this part. I mean, there's a lot of bolt on the back end, but you need to make sure you do not let these bolts come out because they are supporting, essentially they're supporting your transmission. Okay. so. Do not let them come out of the way. There's little notches and rivets in the catalytic converter shield so that they'll slip in the gap and then you'll just tighten the bolt down on top of them. The uh, catalytic converter is coming with four bolts that have the, uh, the star heads on them, which are obviously not like super common. So not everybody's gonna be carrying those around in order to take them off. And those are gonna go right there. These bolts you reuse. Okay guys. Let's get this going. For those of you that are wondering the size I'm using, it is a half inch ratchet.
And just so you're aware, guys, this is a 9 16 bolt, while the other ones were half inch. So just a little tip there. All right, guys, so both bolts are loosened. If you guys are curious what I was using, like I mentioned, the 9 16 ratchet on this side. Ah. And then a 14 to hold the, uh, the nut on this side. All right, guys, so the first one's up. I haven't tightened the bolts yet, but as you can see, for this one, you had to make enough gap. There's a square at the top, slides in front of the bolt. The bolt slides into this U-shaped cutout. And then I've got these holes right here for the two new bolts with the stars. Mine came already installed, but there are these rubber little grommets that go into here to keep it from, you know, touching that and scraping. So, so far we're, we're doing good, making progress here. All right, guys, so the first one is officially in. I did have to loosen this crossbar a little bit on that one bolt I left in just to get it to swing underneath okay, but I didn't need to completely remove it, which made it a lot easier to get it back in. What I'd recommend doing is, is just slowly doing this because you know, these bolts to line everything up, don't tighten one bolt down all the way because then one's not going to be, you know, able to actually start. So start each one, you know, individually, get them both threaded in. Same for that. Make sure everything's going. Just kind of slowly tighten everything together and then double, triple, quadruple check to make sure everything's tightened properly before you complete everything. For, for these ones, since I'm obviously laying upside down, I ended up just using my drill and through the uh, the bit that came in the bag with these bolts, I landed my drill and it actually worked really well. Like I said, just don't tighten it down all the way on the first crank, you know, you know, give a little to that one, then that one, and just kind of, you know, play tennis with them until they're both pretty tightened. And then, like I said, I tightened that. Now, here's the interesting part is I used the ratchet and then a standard, <clears throat> standard wrench like this. So what I had to do is on the first time I did it, I used the ratchet on the side and used the wrench to hold the uh, the uh, the nut to keep it from you know spinning with the uh, with the bolt, and then I just switched them. So on this side, since there wasn't you know enough space for the ratchet to fit into, I used the ratchet on the back end and used the uh, circle part of the wrench on this side. So hopefully that made sense to you guys. I'm gonna see if I can get a better video of me actually doing the work on the next one it's just extremely awkward since i don't have a lift and i'm working with minimal space here so All right, guys, we're all finished up here. What do you guys think? Not too shabby. I was having a little issue with a couple of the bolts here, so I ended up just using one of the stock ones that was already there on the truck, but it's fine. I mean, 
Remember guys, these are to hopefully prevent people and kind of just deter them from wanting to even try. Obviously, if somebody really, really wanted to get in there, if they had enough time and the right equipment, you know, they could definitely do so. But I think we're good. All right, guys. If you guys have any questions, throw in the comments section. I'll put a link for these cat shields in the uh, description. And uh, looking forward to the next one. All right, guys. Talk to you soon. See ya.